What's up, YouTube world? This is the kid, DC Wrestling, back once again with another video. And tonight was AEW Dynamite. This was actually a very special edition of AEW Dynamite. This was AEW Quake at the Lake, the August 10th edition. AEW Dynamite Quake at the Lake. Overall, I thought it was a really good show. Really good show. Main event was crazy. We will get into that, man. But first things first. Let's start it off with the coffin match. Darby Allen versus Brody King. Right off the bat, right off the gate. Man, was this crazy, man. I'm talking like, I don't even think we were literally five minutes into the match. Let alone probably three minutes into the broadcast. Brody King is already busted open because Darby had the thumbtack skateboard and drives his skull into it. I'm like, man, that's pretty crazy. Very physical match. Like... Honestly, you can look at this match and be like, wow, these two men, like, legit hate each other. These two men, like, have a personal vendetta with one another. Sting was in the coffin because Malachi Black and them came out and the rest of the House of Black came out to try to, you know, help out their boy, Brody King. But, like I said, Sting was in the coffin. He came out with the uh, bat, as always. He has a stare down with Malachi Black and... You know, they'll, they go all the way up to the entrance ramp. And like I said, Darby was able to take advantage and he was able to get the win over Brody King. So really good way to kick off Dynamite, Quake at the Lake. And definitely it was cool. See yeah, I thought it was cool seeing Darby get the win. And the way he got it was very unique as well. Now, the next match was not your normal tag team match player. You see, this was the Lucha Bros versus uh, obviously... Um, Roosh and um, Andrade, uh, LFI, in a Tornado Tag Team match player. So you already know with these guys being very luchador and all that stuff, you already know you're going to have a lot of luchador stuff going around in this match. Um, pretty good match, I thought. Really good tag team match, though. I, I just don't, like, man, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, you guys want to talk about how John Moxley bleeds every single match has there ever been a match where freaking penta's mask never come off like this is like the 100th time they pulled his mask off to take advantage and they throw it into the they throw the new mask in the crowd and like yeah it was just crazy but uh andrade uh and roosh get the win but pretty good tag team match though i thought now the young bucks are backstage they approach the dark order and hangman they're like look hey man like i know what what happened in the past but look, we're new now. You made us whole. You made us new. Can, you want to you wanna team up in the tournament, man? And Hangman's like, look, man, like, look, like, I'm I'm trying to help Dark Order out. Now, I'm not in the trios tournament, but I'm I'm going to be in the Dark Order's, um, you know, corner and all that good stuff. And the Young Bucks were like, hey, that's fine. Like, all good, man, all respect. So the Young Bucks got a mystery partner. So who's going to be their tag team partner next week? When the trios when the trios uh, tournament begins, well, we'll see. We'll find out next week. Which, um, what are they calling the the next dynamite show? I think it's like uh, Game of Thrones reference. I think I don't know, but Lucha Luchasaurus Lucha the source a jobber named Anthony Henry, uh, Jay Lethal, Sonya Dutt, and yeah, they come out. Uh, Jay Lethal and his crew come out. Uh, this leads to obviously them calling out Wartlow. FTR comes out because obviously FTR was advertised for the show. So FTR and Wartlow go at it with Lethal, Dutt, and Sing. This was a solid segment um, I thought it was worth. Ricky Starks versus Aaron Solo. I can't really give you a big rating for this match. It doesn't really last that long. Ricky Starks gets the win. Um, freaking Powerhouse Hobbs clearly not happy with that because he smashed the TV in the back. Uh, we got some matches announced for Rampage, including Big Red making his return, a.k.a. Eric Redbeer. He's going to be teaming up against Dan House and take on the Ass Boys. I might review Rampage, though. I, I might. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. 50-50 uh, on that one. We got the TBS Championship, Jay Cargill versus Madison Rain, And uh, I kind of thought this match was kind of meh. Um, in no way, shape, or form did I think Madison Rain was going to get the win. Like, Jay Cargill was going to get the win. And it seems like now with Athena coming out, it seems like this that was going to set up Athena and uh, Jay Cargill for All Out. And probably Athena probably going to be the one to dethrone Jay Cargill because, see, as we saw with Thunderstorm, 
Chris Stadlander is out. She is out, and God knows when she's coming back. So get well soon, Chris Stadlander. Um, you know, speedy recovery. But um, yeah, so because Chris Stadlander is out, uh, Tony Storm is in. She is the number one contender for the AEW Women's World Title, and you know she told Thunder Rosa like, "Listen, look, baby, like I love you, like we we girls, we sisters." But I, I did come here to win that title. So if I have to be the one to end your reign, well, then that's what I'm going to do. The main event, we hit Moxley, Chris Jericho. This is for the interim AEW World Championship. And, man, um, I mean, <laughs> this was the Lionheart, Chris Jericho. I thought this, this wasn't a bad main event. I mean, it was solid. The only, like, kind of you know, nitpicking that I had, uh, again, Moxie didn't necessarily have to bleed for this match, but I guess that gets John Moxley's adrenaline rushing. If he has to bleed, then I don't know. It's just like you're bleeding every match. It takes away from the coolness of it. I guess. I don't know, but yeah, Jericho looked, you know, Jericho put Moxie in the lion tamer and this is a, one of the small nitpicks. They go into picture and picture. This match really should have been a commercial free and they had Jericho put Moxie in the um, Lion Tamer for, like, the entire picture-in-picture, picture, which was, like, three minutes. So, for a good three minutes, Jericho has him in the Lion Tamer. I'm like, well, that kind of takes away the kind of the importance of the move. But Moxie does get the win. Jericho Appreciation Society comes out. I looked at Tom. I was like, yes, yeah, they're about to do something. And what do they do? CM Punk, the Second City Saint. CM Punk is back. Clearly, the foot looks good, so he ain't hurt no more. So, clearly, his foot injury is good. He's good because, of course, like if he wasn't, then he wouldn't be back. And, yeah, it's we might as well just confirm it. CM Punk and John Moxley at All Out. Um, I'm, that should be an interesting one there. Um, but, yeah, overall, pretty good show tonight from AEW. We'll see what happens next week. I hope you guys enjoyed my AEW Dynamite Quake of the Lake review. This has been the KDC Wrestling and so on. Yeah.